Thank you. Okay. Look, let's be clear, this is not the time to provide unilateral concessions to a designated state sponsor of terrorism. This amendment is simply a bailout, a bailout for the anti-American terrorist regime of Cuba, a regime that brutally oppresses the Cuban people and continuously undermines U.S. national security interests. It aids adversaries such as Russia and the Maduro regime in Venezuela and terrorist groups such as FARC and ELN, just to mention a couple. Remember, the law allows for unlimited quantities of food and medicine and other basic necessities. That's already allowed to be sent and uh, to be sold uh, to Cuba. What we must n not do is allow the American taxpayers have them on the hook to subsidize the Cuban terrorist regime. This is not the time to bail out an enemy of the United States, which harbors fugitives from U.S. justice, which allows Russian spy ships to dock in its waters, that ruthlessly oppresses the Cuban people, imprisoning even children for just speaking out for freedom. This amendment, by the way, would also ensure that American farmers are not, are not paid because we all know that the Cuban regime doesn't pay back its debts. So this would again put the American taxpayer on the hook to help the Cuban regime. So look, let's be clear. A vote against this amendment is a vote for freedom. A vote against this amendment is a vote for the American national security interests. And a vote against this amendment is a vote for human rights and freedom for the Cuban people are reserved.